Welcome to Greenhouse. Well, many plants were removed from Greenhouse recently, and now we can see something interesting. We can see which plants were never planted, but they still grow. So we frequently call these plants weeds, but I dislike this term. Weeds are something unwanted, but I want all plants, so I like these old self-growing plants, so just to show some of them today. So one, one of the most interesting one is Boston fern. So Boston ferns normally in a tropical country, they inhabit the trunks of the palm trees, and here they grow in any single crack. They use rhizomes to spread out and spores to germinate. So Boston ferns are everywhere. Another unexpected plant, which is now growing everywhere, is this one. So this is a slow, sensitive plant. If you remember, if you touch the leaf, it starts to slowly fold. This is spreading seeds all around. And it's no surprise, this plant is from uh, wood sorrel family and another plant from wood sorrel plant family the actual wood sorrel is with yellow flowers uh, is everywhere as well another one which is also not very expected is a Japanese holy fern and this is that plant so holy ferns are now all over greenhouse in very unlikely places Uh, outer cover was also recently removed. And we can see lots of holy ferns outside of greenhouse as well. And of course, among holy ferns, you will see plenty of mosses on the walls. Well, not only holy ferns, Boston ferns and mosses around, there are many others. So, for example, in many pots you can see young nest ferns. There are also golden ferns spreading all around the greenhouse. Sometimes you can see lots of new protelia on ferns on the walls. Another interesting plant, another fern, this is African pilea fern that start to spread out among any pot. Other fern, whisk fern, I did show to you. So this is a plant without roots. Now it's become a weed all over the pots as well. So ferns and wood sorrel plants and mosses are dominating this weedy community in greenhouse. Also, there are very interesting plants from different groups. So this one is Margravia from Puerto Rico. It's a very small thing, but when it will meet conditions good enough for growth, it starts to claim the wall. And finally, it should develop flowering branch with completely different leaves. We will see if it will do it or not. Boston ferns can grow on the walls as well. And several interesting plants like two species of cacti, dragon fruit cactus and night cactus are growing on walls and now they don't really depend on any pot. Another species which was unexpectedly witty is one of Sissus. I showed you once 
cactus like scissors and this is also succulent one but it's not really cactus like it start to grow out of pot now it is rooted on the wall and start to grow by itself finally there is a plant which belongs to spiderwort family Tripagendra in Puerto Rico this guy grows in the roadsides and here in greenhouse it grows in windowsills it has an interesting mechanism to spread out typically all these branches connected with long stems but sometimes stems start to dry out and then as you see here this is a separation between dry part of stem and the actual living part of stem so that rest of the stem has no other choice than to root and start to grow as independent plant thank you